Hello, so I am going to be making a pen. I have got ta -da, some parts, pen kit from Woodcraft, love that store, and my lathe. That is a lathe from the 30s. It has uh, just brass bushings. Come on, focus. It has uh, this goofy thing that had just a dead stop. I made a live stop for it. Um, that's the lathe I'm going to use. I'm going to drill some holes through here. Um, get to work on this. Yeah. So, in an attempt to not miss any steps or show you, um, these kits come in a variety of little, well, they have lots of little parts, um, generally wrapped separately, some of the bigger pieces aren't. Um, pens are all cylindrical, they start with these little brass tubes. Um, the brass tubes uh, are what's going to hold this uh, wood piece on the lathe as it spins around. I've got to trim it up a little bit. I'm going to have to cut this piece. Uh, just kind of making sure I've got enough room. This will be the large piece. As far as the diameter of the barrel goes. Um, so now I'm going to have to take this, cut it down the middle, drill through it, and sink these in. And we get to turn it and put it together. Uh. I could be using a uh, fence for this, but uh, that would require that I knew where it was. Oh, here it is. Get that over there. Get that close. Now uh, you got a fence. Pretty nice, yeah. yeah probably, that was probably all out of focus. Yeah, there we go. This is Amboina Burl. Or through you, burl? I'll have to double check. It's some sort of burl. Lovely wood. Important. <laughs> and plugging it in is important too. So, the battery in the camera died. I uh, didn't get the, any video of me gluing the little brass things into the holders, but you can see they are actually in there. Shiny inside. So now the trick is using this guy to look up the end. Now, they're beautiful. 
Nice. Flush. And the battery's gonna die again. So, I got the brass into the things, I got the ends all flushed up, there it goes, so I've got both of those guys set up, and uh, here are all of the parts of the fountain pen. Um, up here, we've got the parts for the cap. This is the top cap, the protective thing in the barrel. This is the interface where uh, it screws onto the other piece. This is uh, the pen clip. You've got the nib, and it's got either ink or uh, refillable cartridge. Um, that is the uh, piece that uh, this screws into this and this mate onto this piece of wood here and then this screws on that's the end cap a little ring for this guy um, <clears throat> other accessories for this are uh, these tools which make it easier these are bushings uh, they're set up so they go into the ends there and when this guy is on the lathe there is a pin that goes down through it and uh, you just turn down to the size of the bushings uh, it's a good it's a stopping point and then uh, everything should be lined up I've done this a couple times and it usually works yeah. So, this is the lathe setup. Um, it's got this large four jaw chuck that is not self centering, so it is a pain in the ever loving rear end to get it centered. Then the tool rest in front, we'll get the live stop on the end. These guys slide on there. The camera died as I was working on this guy. Um, as you can see, I've got it just about done. Now, over on the right there, brutal. Pop through, you can see some of the brass. It didn't happen anywhere else. I was a little bit worried about that piece of wood, but man, it turned out. Pretty gorgeous. Let's see. Brutal. Take some super glue and some sawdust from this guy and fill in these holes. Make it look like it never happened. So, I lost the audio for this, but this is the process of putting the whole pen together. I'm using this Jorgensen style wood vise to. Uh, just keep the the top and bottom pieces even as I'm pushing them firmly together inside these brass bits. Uh, aside from getting the pieces on right, there's really not too much 
to the whole process. You get the whole thing together, screw all the bits on, and you got a pen. Ta-da!